Yo, what is good people? Ben from Lover of Tech, and we are back for another video, specifically another unboxing, and this time it is of the Z Flip 3. And yes, I've had time with this product before, but this is now finally on the Lover of Tech channel, so let's not waste much time and let's get to unboxing the Z Flip 3. So yes, before we get unboxing, you know it. Big thank you to Vodafone UK for supplying the Z Flip 3 5G for testing and on loan for review. My goodness, has their support not been so great? And yes, big thank you to them. There will be links in the description below for all the latest deals that you will find on a Z Flip 3, especially now that outright in the UK, it starts at £949 for 128 gigabytes, yeah, on monthly payments on contract on Vodafone, it's going to be sweet. So a big thank you to them. Like I legit appreciate all the support that they give. So no doubt, go show them some love. But yes, Z Flip 3, my unboxing. And regardless of the time, man, you know me, I always like to try and go through the journey process with these devices, right? Unboxing, impressions video, charging test, camera comparison, then review. At least on a minimum, I like to do that and then maybe some general comparisons. But you know what, talked a lot and let's get into this. So what one do we have here? We have the Z Flip 3 and we've got that in the 5G variant, obviously 128 gigabyte, eight gigabytes of RAM. And we've got this in the cream color. So when it doesn't have the phantom name, it is gonna be glossy. So that's just another thing to consider, but let's unbox this. Whew. Like I said, I've already had hands on with the Z Flip 3 before on all the colors. And that's because I had a chance to go to a closed event for the Z Flip 3 and all the new unpacked products. And that's because if you didn't know you're new to the channel, I am also the host and producer over at sammobile.com. Great guys over there and I'm the main video producer for there. So I had a chance to actually get hands on, but I hadn't yet pretty much had it on the Lover of Tech channel, right? and got review units. I went to the event, managed to get hands on, but didn't actually get review in it. So this means a lot to me from Vodafone for them to do this, man. But yeah, it is a simple unboxing. As you know, the trend that's going on with the slimmer boxes, you do only get the USB-C to C cable. So this should be a near enough straight unboxing. You've got the quick start guide in there. Nothing much to really see. And um, yeah, you've got the SIM ejector tool that comes at the back as well. Let's put this away. Yeah. And you've got the SIM ejector tool right there. Cool. Nothing exciting. And for me, like I've said, if their mid-range phones are the ones getting the charges in a box still, then their premium ones should get charges in a box because at the end of the day, the, the mid-range ones are the ones that sell the most. So yeah, but anyway, that's just another discussion for another day. I've done videos about that. But yeah, this is the Z Flip 3. So I'm very familiar with this. I'm very familiar with this. I am very familiar with this product. So you probably won't see my usual raw unfiltered reactions like you tend to in the past, right? But it's nice that I've now finally got review unit in hand to spend more time with it properly and really take it in. Because I have been a Fold 2 user. I have been a Fold 2 user. So now having this in hand where I can experience my first flip device, yeah, I'm gonna be very excited to pretty much take it through its paces. So this is the cream color. So I'll take this off at the back. And it is dual SIM, but it is not proper dual SIM, which is already my first complaint because it uses eSIM and one nano SIM. And I prefer having two nano SIMs. That's just me personally. And I'm glad they fixed up for the Fold 3. Hope that they'll do the same for the Flip series for the next generation, even though they couldn't do it for this one. But this is the cream color. So let's get some shots of this one. And it's got the glossy finish, but I do like the flatter, more rounded off finish of the, mind me, I'm looking up because I'm obviously, I want to make sure that it's an angle and, and aligned up. But yeah, it's got the more flatter, rounded edges, which is so much nicer. And it's using a brushed kind of clean matte finish to the aluminium rails, which obviously they're calling armored aluminium, which is lighter and stronger. And you've got the stronger front film for the glass as well, for the display, the protector. And it's meant to be 29% brighter, still full high definition plus, still AMOLED. 
dual 12 megapixel ultra wide and wide and obviously you've got the 10 megapixel hole punch selfie nothing crazy like the under display camera that you find on the fold 3 which is great to see let's turn this bad boy on bam samsung powered by android secured by Knox. so should be android 11 and it's one ui 3.1 but again we've you know we've we've had we've I've done video overviews of the One UI 4.0 beta on Sam Mobile. So we're hoping that this will come on here very soon. Whew, okay. As always, we go to dark mode. One dark mode. So one dark mode, obviously adaptive brightness is, adaptive refresh is there. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Navigation bar, we've got to change that to gestures, obviously. Um, screen timeout, the longest. So what have we got here? We've got the Infinity Flex display, and that is with the 10 megapixel hole punch at the top, like stated, full high definition plus, still not a quad high definition, we finally do get 120 hertz, which is great. And a bright display makes it more usable. 22 by nine aspect ratio, and it is 6.7 inches. Now, bearing in mind this, bearing in mind this, this is the S21 Ultra, okay? S21 Ultra, and that is using near enough a 20 by nine aspect ratio or close to and it's 6.8 inches. So take with that what you want. You do have a slightly taller, slightly taller display. Yes, you do have a slightly taller display, even though this display is physically bigger in that sense, all right? So that just gives a bit of perspective. So if you have a look at it, you can see that it is slightly taller. So it does give that traditional feel of a normal candy bar display, but slightly taller. And I'll go into my first impressions properly in terms of the button placements and all the things like that. But um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Now, obviously the main thing that they really did was that cover display. Oh yes. Due to the aspect ratio and the screen size change, it's about double the size now, 1.9 inches from 1.1, but the aspect ratio is what really does it. And yeah, it looks, it looks, it looks good. So I'm eager to test that. But yeah, oof. Hinge is smooth. And obviously you've got the flex hinge there as well, which is still very convenient. And I like the feel of it. Again, like I said, it's gonna be a much more toned down unboxing because I've had familiar hands-on enough of it. And you'll think, oh, because of that, what's the point in doing an unboxing? I still like doing unboxings. Unboxings are fun, yeah? Unboxings are fun. It's a shame that things have been toned down a lot more for these flagship devices, but unboxings are fun. And yeah, this is a compact size for the Flip 3. Full first impressions for the Lover of Tech channel coming very soon and all content around. But yeah, this is the cream color two-tone, panda, some people might call it, of the Flip 3. That is it. Straight to it, as I do. And if you enjoy videos like this, you know exactly what to do. Like, subscribe, and turn the notifications so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. I'm gonna be pumping out content for the Flip 3 properly on the Lover of Tech channel. So again, big thank you to Vodafone. I'm out, stay safe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.